So the following example is a stress and strain example and it uh, presents to you bending about the x-axis. So we have a symmetrical I section over here. The total depth of this I section is 612 millimeters and the centroid, the vertical centroid coordinate is 306 millimeters from the top and this is obvious because it's, um, it's a symmetrical section. So we're given the value of Ix which is 986 times 10 to the 6 millimeters to the power of 4 um, we need to find the stresses and strains at the top and the bottom of the section so at the top of the top flange and the bottom of the bottom flange and we need to draw the diagram okay and bear in mind that the following section is subjected to a positive bending moment so a sagging bending moment of 966 kilonewton meters so since we have a sagging bending moment we know that the bottom is in tension which is positive stresses and positive strains and the top is in compression so we have negative st uh, stresses and negative strains so how do we go on, on approaching such calculations so the first thing we do is let's work out the tip of the bottom flange so the bottom of it so we do F is equal to MY on I we know that we have a positive bending moment of 966 kilonewton meters so we have to convert this to newton millimeters to keep our units um, consistent so we multiply this by 10 to the 6 then we multiply by y and remember y is the vertical distance from the centroid so if our centroid is here in the center since it's symmetrical the distance from the centroid to the bottom of the bottom flange is 306 millimeters so this is why we multiplied by 306 then we divide by the i value which is given to us as 986 times 10 to the 6 and this gives us